I was wrong about selections and masking and I'm not embarrassed to admit it. Many videos ago, I shared with you a technique to easily cut out this difficult tree without even making a selection, just by defining what the sky is to Photoshop. So let me ask you a question. What color is the sky in this example? Blue, right? But it's not just blue, it's also bright. So what if you could tell Photoshop to remove everything that is bright and blue without even making a selection? Sounds too good to be true, right? So here we have our trees and under it, we have our new sky that we want. All right, so let's turn on the tree layer. All we had to do is double click on the right hand side of this layer and remove the sky with blend if. Now, if you worked with the sliders of the current layer and try to remove the bright areas, it removes all of the bright areas, including the bright areas of the trees. We didn't want that. We only wanted to remove the bright and blue areas. So how do we do it? First of all, let's reset this. We only need to work in the blue channel. And yes, you can change the channels from right here by changing the drop down to blue. That is all. And now when you take away the bright blues by moving the slider right here, there you go. It gives you so much better result. Now, definitely this is going to be very harsh, as you can see, to soften this transition. You simply need to hold the Alt key or the Option key and click on it and make the transition smoother like so. And it seems to work nicely. Hit OK. And there is no selection. Still, the sky is changed. Looks fantastic, doesn't it? And in many cases, it may work excellent. However, this technique has its flaws. As we zoom in, have a look at the branches and the bright areas of the branches. There are some areas which have gone transparent as well, which we didn't want. Have a look at this area right here. Now, of course, you can create a new layer and try to fix that, try to fill in those areas. But as Photoshop updates and evolves, especially exponentially in the recent time, we as instructors need to update our techniques too. And the best working techniques are usually the simplest ones. So in this case, let's go back to how it was. And all you do is use Photoshop's own detection technology to take care of this by first making sure that you have the trees layer selected and then go to select and sky. That is all and it does an incredible job of selecting the sky. Now you want to remove the sky, which means you want to create an opposite mask. If we click on the mask button right now, it keeps the sky. We don't want that. We wanted the opposite. So hold the Alt key or the Option key and then click on the mask button to create the opposite mask. And as you can see, this looks amazing. Again, until you zoom in. And even in this case, there are some areas that have gone transparent and the mask is also not as good as you want it. If you have a look at the mask by holding the Alt key or the Option key and clicking on the mask, you can see that it also took parts of the old sky. There are some areas that needed to be white, but it's gray, it's transparent. So how do we fix all of that? As with everything automatic, it's not perfect. So let's click on the layer to get back to the preview and then we can easily fix this with levels or curves. So with the mask selected right here, press Ctrl or Command L. This is one of those very limited times I'm using levels. Yes, I'm on Mesh and you can do the same thing with curves. Trust me, this is not a clone of me. Now, all you need to do is to work with these sliders. So let's take the slider on the left to the right to get a cleaner sky and the slider on the right to the left to fill up all of these areas. So let's take it a little more to the left there you go. And now you have a much better mask right here. You can play with these sliders according to your liking. Hit OK and have a look at this. It's so much better. There are some areas you need to work on. But apart from that, every little branch is properly masked in. So this clearly shows that Select Sky is such a good alternative. But does that mean that you should stick to it and not use the Blend If method? Well, here's a twist. Now this tree, as you can see, has been cut out clean. But what about this one right here? It completely missed out on that cloud. If I turn it off, have a look, there was that cloud. But if I turn it on, it's just covering the cloud. And it's just not proper right here. Don't you think we could have used Blend If there? So I was not completely wrong. So how do we combine the two techniques? Simple, just simply make a copy of this layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Turn this one off, the one at the bottom and then double click on the right hand side of this layer. And with Blend If, just remove the blues in the bright areas. So let's zoom out and select Blend If Blue and take it away like so. 
fantastic, isn't it? Now, of course, this is very, very harsh. As you can see, we need to make it soft. So hold the Alt here, the Option key, click on the slider to break it apart and take it apart like so. Take it further apart. This is so darn good. And you can adjust it if you want the tree to be more or less opaque. Now, although this is good for the tree on the left hand side, but not so good for the tree on the right hand side. And that is where the previous technique becomes helpful. So now we are going to turn on this one to fix this tree right here. But for the tree on the left hand side, we can just simply select the mask for the bottom one and erase those areas. So take the brush with black as the foreground color, just erase the areas where you want a bit of see-through. That's all. Fantastic. Done. Easily cut out and so darn clean. So the idea is knowing the old techniques and combining it with the new ones. Learning anything and especially the core concepts never goes to waste. I hope this video helped you and if it did, Make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips, tricks or tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.